Welcome back to the Daily Mastermind. My name is George Wright III with your daily dose of inspiration, motivation, and education so that you can create your ultimate destiny. I'm excited to be here for you today. Before we get too far into it, I want to give you the quote of the day. So if you have the Daily Mastermind mobile app, the tab that says quotes, this is going to be from Henry Ford. And the quote is, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you are right. And you've heard me say that before, and, and it really applies this week, because if you want to create your life, you've got to, you got to believe you can. You really need to believe in yourself in order to create your life. So today I want to talk with you about, about daily rituals. Now, this is one of our prosperity pillars, so we're going to cover this again in a few weeks. But daily rituals is something that I absolutely believe will be a game changer for you in your life if you can find some consistency in daily rituals. So let's talk a little bit about what you can do on daily rituals. The first suggestion I have for you is set yourself up for success. I know sometimes when we get excited about creating our lives and, and doing things in a positive and making change, we try to overwhelm ourselves. But the bottom line is you have to set yourself up for success. Let me tell you what I mean by that. You might not be a morning person. You might be more of a night person. You need to find a time a day that is going to be the most productive and effective for you to be able to do your morning, your, your daily rituals. And if, uh, if you're not a morning person, you might want to do it in the morning in order to get yourself going. If you are a morning person, it might even be a more productive time for you. But finding the right time of day is really critical. Setting up some boundaries for yourself so that if you're going to focus on doing a few things, you don't have distractions. So it's really important for you to set yourself up for success. In addition, I want to suggest that you pick daily rituals that help you the most. Don't pick daily rituals that allow you to check the box. Sometimes we say, ah, oh, you know, motivation, inspiration, education, I'm going to read, I'm going to journal, I'm going to say my prayer, I'm going to do whatever I need to do. But we do a lot of the easiest things first. I want you to identify which areas help you the most in your life. For me, listening to some podcasts in the morning are a real great way for me to you know, get my mindset and motivated to go to the gym because I know if I go to the gym, that's going to affect me and help my day to get started. I'll talk towards the end of this episode about what my morning and evening rituals are, but pick something that works for you the best and that will focus on the area you need to grow the best. Don't just do daily rituals to do daily rituals. Obviously, anything you do is going to help benefit you, but pick something that's going to impact you the most. That might be exercise. It might be diet. It might be relationship time. It might be quality time with your family or your partners or whatever it is. But pick what works the best for you and drives the result that you're looking for. Also, commit to just two or three of these things. Now, you can have a list of daily rituals, but consider it a win if you consistently check the box on two or three daily rituals that you know are changing your life. Give yourself the credit for doing your daily rituals and don't do what a lot of high achievers do, and that is I've got four or five things I'm going to do every day, and if I don't do them, I didn't accomplish my goals. If you can get two or three committed, consistent daily rituals going, then consider yourself successful. Be successful with that. And then finally, consistency far and away overcomes just your commitment to daily rituals. Being consistent with one or two things is far better than you crushing it for a week and then taking days and not doing it, and then crushing it for a week and taking a few days and not doing it. So consistency will always be the most important thing. Now, I want to talk to you a little bit about what I do on a daily basis. So I always get up, you know, I get up at 5.30, 6 o'clock. I always have some motivation, workout, and, and meditation. Those are the three big ones for me. So motivation for me is listening to a podcast. And some mornings, I got to tell you, I've got them right as a hit list, so they're easy to get to. Some mornings, it might be Joel Olstein. Some mornings, it's Ed Milet. It's Andy Frazella. It's, um, you know, I've got a whole slew of podcasts. But find the ones that relate the best to you and know based on your current physical and mental and emotional situation, what you need. Sometimes I need more inspiration. Sometimes it's more motivation. Sometimes I need a kick in the butt. Sometimes I just need that validation. So I personally listen to podcasts to get motivated, and then I go hit the gym. I know that if I get my body going, my mind's going to get going, my day's going to get going, and it's going to wake me up. And I know I never feel like going. Nobody feels like going to the gym, but I know when I go, it's going to make a difference for me. Then I come home, I do my affirmations and meditation, 
and I'm rocking into the day. Now, I also bookend my day with those morning uh, rituals and then with some evening rituals. And so the best way for me to wind down, especially after busy, successful, driven days, is to have a few rituals. So my personal rituals would be journaling, and it, with journaling, I always kind of try to focus on what I'm grateful for, what memories or experiences I've had for the day, and maybe what wins I've had. But I do a little bit of journaling, a little bit of reading, say a prayer, and then I'm, I'm good to go. Now, I try to, as often as I can, work on that visualization, you know, that visualization and manifestation of the life that I want to live and I want to have. And I do that in the evening because that's going to give my mind something to work on while I'm sleeping. And it's going to get me focused on the most important thing rather than going to bed where you're worried about one of your big problems or stresses you've got or something else that's going on in your life. Go to sleep for your five, six, eight hours. Sometimes it's three hours. Get your sleep while you know your mind is already programmed to work on the life that you were meant to live and that you want to live, that vision that you have. And so that's my kind of my evening and my and also my morning rituals. What I'd like you to do for me, if you wouldn't mind, I'd like you to send me an email. It doesn't have to be a long one. I'd just like you to send me an email. And in the subject line, I want you to write daily rituals. And send me an email that just lists out two or three of your favorite daily rituals and the ones that are working for you. I'm trying to get some feedback from some of our community just to find out what's working for people for daily rituals. So send me an email to george at g3 worldwide, george at g the number three worldwide.com and um, I'll look forward to hearing what rituals are working for you which ones you found have been the best whether or not it's morning evening afternoon let me know what's working for you because I'd love to get that feedback so once again it's george at g3 worldwide.com now that's the message for today and this week I just want to summarize one more time for you we are focused on prosperity pillar number one I create my life Start with loving yourself, creating belief, determining what you want, be you authentically, and then drive those daily rituals for success. I know if you'll do that, you absolutely can start living the life you were meant to live. And remember, it's never too late to start living the life that you were meant to live. It doesn't matter where you're at, doesn't matter your circumstances, your environment. You have greatness inside of you. You have everything you need to be able to drive and do what you need to do. So let's make it happen. Have a great weekend, and I'll look forward to hearing from you soon. This has been George Wright III with The Daily Mastermind.